Good morning. Welcome. My name is Father Roland Nato. I'm the pastor of Blessed Trinity Catholic Church here in Orlando, Florida. And I come today, today offering you Pastor's Notes number 44. Today is February 24th, 2021, and it is 1030 in the morning. Blonde men, finally, you know it had to happen sooner or later. A blind man, a blonde man is in the bathroom and his wife shouts, did you find the shampoo? He answers, yes, but I'm not sure what to do. It's for dry hair and I've just wet mine. And a blonde man shouts frantically into the phone, my wife is pregnant and her contractions are only two minutes apart. Is this her first child? Asks the doctor. No, he shouts, this is her husband. And last one. An Italian tourist asks a blonde man, why do scuba divers always fall backwards off their boats? To which the blonde man replies, well, if they fell forward, they'd still be in the boat. All right, moving on. Lent is a busy time in most parishes, and it certainly is busy here this year at Blessed Trinity. We just recently launched our Catholic Appeal. This is the annual collection which supports the diocesan ministries and services of the Diocese of Orlando in Central Florida. Last year, we had 491 gifts, which is actually 33% of our 1,400 or so domiciles. And that number gave $191,000 cash uh, on, uh, for our Catholic appeal last year. You know, we have a great need this year because of the, this pandemic has hang, been hanging around so long. There's great need the pandemic expenses and decreased contributions partially explained by the lack of physical presence in the church. So I ask you, please, if you've received a letter from the diocese asking you to participate again this year in our Catholic appeal, please prayerfully and generously consider doing so. Lenten devotions, number two. We have confessions scheduled for a community prayer uh, service of reconciliation on March 23rd, 7 p.m. Now that would be the assigned time for people to go to confession during the time of Lent. Stations of the Cross happen every week in English on Friday after the 8.30 Mass and for the Spanish folks on Friday at 7 p.m. Number three, the diocese has organized a priest Lenten reflections. I share this because I want you to know that please, all of us here will be participating from the rectory and we ask the support of your prayers. This is an opportunity for us to reflect, to share with our brother priests and for us to go to confession. It will take place at San Pedro Spiritual Life Center, Tuesday, March 2nd from 11 to 2. Kindly put a note on that in your bulletin. I mean, in your uh, schedule, so you might remember us in prayer that day. Number four, peanut butter. Sure. For the sister diocese in the Dominican Republic who have little meat in their regular diet, peanut butter is a protein supplement, one that serves their needs very well and for which the diocese has supported and provided for many years. So if you have an extra few shekels hanging around, please buy a couple big jars of peanut butter, drop them off in the narthex of the church, and we will see to it that they're given to the correct people to be sent to the Dominican Republic. Thank you. On the horizon, Patrick Madrid, the um, apologist 
and well-known apologist of the Catholic Church on uh, relevant radio will be here at Blessed Trinity in person on April 14. Please consider uh, purchasing a ticket. This, this event is seen to be two things. One is to provide a well, uh, a, uh, an ongoing faith formation experience for all our people, number one. Number two, also to serve as a fundraiser. So kindly consider participating in that activity. It will take place on April 14. Tickets need to be purchased ahead of time. If you want to see, if you've not met Patrick Madrid, simply tune in to Relevant Radio. That's Radio AM 1190 for English. And this will be, he is on the radio Monday to Friday at uh, 9 to 12 noon. Now this radio station is for people of Central Florida. Sound system. Well, someone said to me there's some complaints about our sound system in church. Someone else pointed out that that sound system has been in place for uh, 15, 18 years uh, since the church has been built. One person made an offer to help replace, help contribute to replace that sound system. I put the thought out there, if there's anybody who has been annoyed by our sound system, feeling it's not operating at its best, that you might be interested in supporting the cause of replacing our sound system in the church. Just a thought out there. Let's see if there's any reaction. Okay, there's a few other little items here that are important. Number seven, on February next weekend, coming up, the KFC will have their annual Tootsie Roll Drive. Now this, the KFC Knights of Columbus do this every year. Uh, all funds raised are given to, to uh, services for handicapped children. The, put, the Tootsie Rolls are free, but the offering comes from your heart. Faith formation, continu uh, continuation class on Monday at 7.30. And faith formation starts back this Sunday. So parents, please take note of that. Rice bowls. We've talked about the rice bowl during Lent. A time for children to put aside their extra coins to um, give to the Catholic Relief Services who do extensive work throughout the world in the most, in the most needy areas. It's a wonderful cause. And some adults have asked to use the, the little boxes also. I think they presume to use more paper money. Whatever the case, please, if you want to participate, know that the boxes will be picked up on April 11. So you have the whole month of Lent, really, to be part of this. Announcing ahead of time that we will have a One Blood Weekend at Blessed Trinity on March 28th. And on March 14th, one Blood, which is the Big Red Bus people, uh, will have a table in the narthex to answer questions and also an ability for you to sign up and um, set, make an appointment for your um, distribute for your for your giving blood for this year's cause. The cause, of course, being pandemic. Finally, here's a final offering, helping us all to. Think about answering the big questions of life. To do is to be, said Nietzsche. To be is to do, said Kant. Do be, do be, do, said Sinatra. God bless you. Take care. Let us all stay safe. Blessings.